Today we're going to quickly go through how to record from your computer or any digital device to a cassette. Let's jump into it. For recording a digital track to a cassette, we'll need the following. An empty cassette, a cassette recording capable device, and a cable to feed the recorder from the audio source. Now, let's break those down. For the empty cassette, you can buy an empty cassette in big electronic retailers, Amazon or eBay. I just got 4 cassettes for 8 euros on my local eBay. They are indeed very cheap, around 2 euros per cassette. A small tip, there are different types of cassettes you can record on. Type 1 is the most widely used, but if your cassette recorder supports chrome or metal tapes, and if you want an even better sound quality recording, then you should definitely give those a try. As for the recorder, I assume most people watching this video already have a cassette recorder, which might be either a deck or a portable unit. Beware that the quality of the recordings can greatly vary from one device to another, so if you don't have a device yet and you care about getting a good sound quality recording, I would suggest to get a deck from a good brand like Sony, Denon, Nakamichi, Akai, etc. They can go for as little as 60 euros and you will be amazed by the results. You will also need just one cable to feed your recorder from the external audio source. If you have a deck, you will need a RCA to mini jack 3.5mm cable. Just connect the white and red or black and red RCA plugs into the input port on the back that reads in or line in and the mini jack into your audio device. If you want to plug it to your PC, then use the same port as you use for your speakers. It's usually green and might have a headphone sign or this one. You can also connect it to any device that has a 3.5mm mini jack port, like a phone or a tablet. It's worth mentioning that if you have a receiver or an amplifier with a mini jack port, you can also plug your recorder and tape whatever your CD or turntable are playing. Now if you have a portable recorder, you'll most likely need a cable with 3.5mm mini jack on both sides. And this is also quite straightforward. Just plug one side to the recorder, where it's written mic or line in, and plug the other side to your playback source. Now that you have your recorder and your audio device connected, making a tape with your favorite music, podcast or any type of sound is easy. Insert your empty cassette on the recorder and make sure that the reel that's full is on the left. The buttons you need to press may vary from device to device, but you usually press rec, check the feedback, adjust volume levels, press play and voila. If your recorder has bias adjustment, calibration, filters, etc., I recommend to check online for more information about your specific model and how to get the best out of it. As for Dolby noise reduction, some people say it's better not to use any form of noise reduction at all, some others use only Dolby B while recording. I think the best way to find out what's better for you is by experimenting. Try different tape types with different noise reduction and see which recordings you find more pleasing. I hope that was helpful. Recording cassettes is something that I particularly enjoy. I also find very useful to make a cassette copy of a vinyl you love and don't want to damage, so you can play it as many times as you want and still have that analog warm sound. Thanks for watching, until next time.